good morning and welcome once again uh, i think we are good to start how many of you have attended my previous session on tuesday if you have attended please type s yes in the chat box okay gaurav uh, yes maha yeah only maha have attended my previous session so is my screen visible and uh, uh, audio audible if it's s yes, please type yes if my screen is visible and audio is clear yes so this thank is you fine. okay i can hear and yes, i can yes. see that as well so thank you and this one i'll be asking uh, many times in the class because i need to share change the windows and screens as well so wait a time kindly give the same answer so yes we are good to go yeah the course you have registered for the demo is on microsoft power platform and coming to microsoft power platform in short it's a suite of tools where we can design business application for any organization without coding in this sense it's a low code no code platform so an intensive coding or a rigorous coding is not required as you as you do in application development for other applications so but a, a lot of tools you need to learn in order to complete fulfill the a given assignment to you so the, the tools which we will be learning is uh, not power bi it's an analytic tools so leaving power bi aside we will be learning power apps power automate power virtual agents and data connectors ai builders and dataverse now what are these tools and where we use these tools in brief we will go we are going to learn in this in this session and a detailed detailed explanation of the curriculum which you are going to get in this particular course and the bonuses which are which i'm going to give in this particular uh, course so apart from this what you are going to learn is the new microsoft fabric it's a tool using these tools of power platform we can uh, leverage the advantage of app development and automate the given app and establishing a database for the developed app using a uh, dataverse and uh, don't worry about what is dataverse i will give you uh, give you a detailed explanation of what dataverse and power virtual agents what do you mean by virtual agent can anyone okay leave about power app power automate i will explain but what is meant by a virtual agent which you are going to see in the daily life anyone what is meant by a virtual agent chatbots exactly exactly that's you got it correct nilesh and uh, yeah so it's a chat box and that chat box is not of a normal website so chatbots are of two types it's a normal chatbots which will give you uh, which will trigger you five to six repetitive answers and transfer to your agent which you see in your local websites like act fiber or else uh, <coughs> some uh, delivery websites uh, like your uh, courier delivery websites uh, there you will be entering something and it will uh, it will give ask us to give us our mobile number or mail id and immediately if we are in a necessary to speak with an agent it will transfer to agent this is not going to happen our complete application will be fetched by the virtual agent and whatever we have developed in the application that virtual agent will give this is a difference between a virtual agent because it is acting as an agent not like a just a chat box chat bot like giving a, giving us three to four answers which we have uh, figured out but this is like it has all it has all the advantages of data science all it it can uh, it can fetch the data from anywhere and even we can add power automate the power of power automate also into the virtual agent that's why it's called power virtual agent so it's a big concept that also we are going to learn and apart from this uh, we will give an a glimpse of uh, power bi we will get will uh, 
develop a couple of dashboards using Power BI because as a Power Platform trainer, you may get a chance or you may get a calls to work as a Power BI uh, Power BI developer also. So that's the reason we have included all these in the course. And apart from that, uh, I have said about the Microsoft Fiber Fabric. So that fabric, I will give you details because it's a two months. It is released by Microsoft two months earlier only, and we are doing some research on that. So it's it is uh, this is like a development and automate and whatever the things which you see on the whatever you see on the application. If you go to a uh, ecom website or a music uh, music uh, music player website, what things what things you can see like UI UX and automate whenever uh, automate in the sense whenever you registered or you register with your mail id immediately you will get a uh, account opening mail these kind of things are included in power automate we can we can do those kind of things using the tool power automate and power virtual agents are given you are using power app it's like a studio it's like a design studio where we will develop the applications and also make it functional using the form using the coding called fx power fx is the coding language which we will use it's like it's like a bunch of formulas bunch of formulas and what are those also with simple explanations i will give you in this particular class so these are the things which we are going to think and the and, and the complete industry is uh, uh, shouting aloud with ai AI. so this power platform is pre-configured with very useful ai tools so once you enter into this power platform environment you will get the, all the advantages of ai what microsoft has built built and configured in this both microsoft power platform and microsoft power, uh, microsoft fabric don't worry about fabric for now at the last i will give you and uh, this is what what microsoft have configured so when a requirement for you comes out of box uh, which are not existing in the platform but a client want that requirement so that can be that can be fulfilled because the client is already existing a sales for uh, sales force uh, crm with him already is having a complete data in sales for or oracle some other database so at that time what we will use we will use the custom connectors or data connectors so data connectors are already inbuilt one example for data 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 connector is dataverse which you are which you are seeing in the left left bottom of bottom of your screen and one more data data connector it is sharepoint and one more database which is uh, one uh, one view uh, which we will which we will uh, one view or one drive which we will be discussing so three databases already which we have in the power platform we will cover they are data dataverse sharepoint and OneDrive. Using this, we will develop applications. We will automate the things, and we will also leverage the advantages of Power Power Virtual Agent. But we have external connector also. Uh, for various case, various cases, client want to migrate from one tool to another tool. Maybe it's uh, because they don't find developers, or the cost of that uh, the cost of the existing tool which he is using is higher, and some custom what we call his requirements are not fulfilled by that tool so at that time he want to migrate from one platform to another platform so they in that case we will use data connectors so is this clear till now if it's clear yes. please yes yes thank you gaurav and others also yes thank you yes yeah yes sir, and the yes. pace which and the pace which with which i am going are you able to catch that or should i go a bit slow this is fine that's okay please everyone continue. yeah so okay this is this is the things uh, this is the overview of the things which you are which we are going to cover in this so apart from microsoft fabric we will also uh, we will also cover the tool called rpa tool called power automate desktop power automate desktop is an rpa tool but which microsoft want to uh, mingle it in the microsoft power platform only so that 
we can use the cloud flows we can connect the cloud flows in the power power automate to the micro power automate desktop it's an rpa tool and what these mean by rpa is uh, automating the windows and automating the ui uh, what uh, and what are those stuffs also we will uh, we will learn in the later part of our uh, training now let's go into the let's go into the our topic uh, business application are you able to screen this canva back uh, blackboard white screen i change the screen yes, uh, could you yes, yes. yes. thank you yeah. thank you thank you uh, okay so basically there are two types of applications in the market and even in the software also you can you could say uh, one is public application public application and the other one is business application okay i will give you what a public application uh, constitutes of so basically in order to develop any application we required we require three units uh, one is ui ux And the other one is the back end team. And the other one is uh, data team. What happens in a UI UX, uh, UI, UI UX phase? So here client comes with his a custom requirement, whatever it may be. It's a e-commerce application, a music application, or any, anything. Uh, it, even it may be a chat application or else any any kind of application so what will uh, what will this team do our art architect will consult with that client and take his complete requirement look and feel and functionality as well along with the ui ux team because architect knows how to build the application but the look and feel what the client expects will be fulfilled by ui ux team only ui ux is nothing but ux is the complete design part that is the different different uh, department so that will give the give the client is desired design for that particular requirement so they knows how the market is running and for his, uh, for his requirements so for music player there should be some design uh, for e-commerce there should be some design uh, for, for if he and even in e-commerce also if it is a general store kind of thing some look and feel it should be and uh, age based based applications also so some uh, some applications are restricted to 18 plus also for that also the design should be diff different and for uh, some applications they are for built for only schools and school children uh, example is our uh, uh, is a tool which i am using as a blackboard here so it, it is requires a different design and the other apps also require a different design so based on that based on the consultation uh, UX team will uh, decide which uh, which team and which design will fit and then discusses then takes the changes and finally approves a design and it will be given to architect and architect sees the pain points in that uh, particular design in development so if he finds any pain point suppose uh, the designer has given a design designer has given something in a music music building a music player app if he have if he has given a music uh, if client asked uh, him that I, I also already already in the existing market there are music players a lot of music players but i want to add this uh, add one more uh, one more feature called music designing also i want to add like how we are giving giving video recording in instagrams in the form of reels i want to add for the music uh, music in enthusiastics to uh, to create music also uh, they can create their own songs like the tools or that music uh, this is the this is the music tool uh, music generation tool could you see this screen 
a new screen I have opened uh, where we we are build, we will build music uh, yes. like new new songs or else uh, making the old songs into DJ tunes or else uh, this is a tool called Soundtrap. Uh, it's a uh, it's a baby of uh, Spotify application. Okay, so just I'm going to read. I'm not a music player, uh, music producer anywhere, but just going through the features of that. Uh, so if a client asks, client asks the art. Uh, as a, as a client ask uh, the you uh, the designer will not deny he'll mm -hmm. also keep that app in the music application that okay i i uh, okay the the client ask so i am keeping that but it's the duty of the architect and the uh, team be a uh, team we need the architect that that possibilities are there with the technology which we have behind us so power platform is that is that uh, we can can we leverage that point also into that but uh, that, then particular application with the with the existing technology called power platform he will figure out the pain points yes and mm -hmm. yes and the alternatives then make a make an intensive document then passes to the senior developers then the senior developers give it to the uh, do it divide the task into divide the, uh, the task based on a requirement to various teams of their managers then the managers will uh, then the manager will divide that task into parts and give it to the lead then the lead will uh, lead will uh, distribute the task to our team members so this is the process how an application will begin and how application will how the requirement or task will come to us as a contributor so from manager to lead to a the senior developer and a junior developer this is how we will get our da daily tasks so depending on the skill set we have depending on the skill set we have and the, the previous uh, projects we have uh, we have worked on based on that they will uh, schedule uh, they will schedule the tasks and give it give it to us so is this clear so you will get the uh, you you may get the task this task is assigned to me so based on the skill set you possess in on your resume if you join a company or else we, the kind of projects which you have worked in the in your particular company so this is how you will uh, this is how you will, uh, your task will be assigned to you okay so this is this is what happens in the ui ux part it is the front end of the application and all the architecture is done and it is done no in the back end now what the technologies we will use we will use in the D ui people who are uh, working you about ux uh, but uh, i expect answer from you all what the technologies which we are you which we are using for uh, ui development anyone can answer anything if it's wrong also i am here to uh, correct it so for, for web development front end development what technologies we use html javascript HTML. css yes absolutely absolutely yeah go on go on JavaScript, bootstrapping, yes, yes, yes. bootstrap, yeah, react, maybe, yeah. hmm. bootstrap, react, angular, yeah, etc. Okay, and in detail also what uh, what HTML constitute also in the progress of our uh, what these tools constitute also up to up to here i will i will say you so these are not part of our training but these things we will use so in order to replace this we have a replacement for bootstrap here and we have a replacement also for html css javascript here in this sense i i i i, I remark it as power platform here whenever i say here it is our power platform so power platform has this tool called canvas or Power App Studio. Say it as Power App Studio. So these all the things will be fulfilled by our Power App Studio. Clear till HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Bootstrap. Okay. And coming to the back end. Okay. In a general application, what the tools uh, we will use? What the languages? Correct me, it's languages we use for backend team for functionality of that particular application. I am naming two languages. You can uh, you can uh, add some more. 
sharp dot net go on yeah java yes absolutely correct some more me python is sorry python correct some more so when you when you get a question try to answer it it becomes an uh, habit to answer your interview on your interview day as well the all things which you are uh, learning here you want to present it to some interviewer for a some company clear aren't you learning this to attend a interview or else just uh, save my classes and uh, recordings in a folder and keep it aside is that is that a point no you need to present it on a fine day to any interviewer so try to answer if you answer here it will it will becomes an habit python java dot net we can use react also we can use yeah. angular also node node also absolutely correct yeah. these are few among those among the technologies existing so what happens here is that same how we have distributed the uh, front end application work uh, to the developers in the back end also the same process will be gone a uh, manager will assign it as to team lead of the particular team the back development team uh, back end development team and he will uh, they will assign they depend on on the requirement and the skill set we possess clear so what it come when it comes to our when it comes to our uh, back end uh, back end development is that here we are going to use here we are going to use power effects formulas power effects formulas power effects formulas and some dot net some c sharp some javascript but it's not mandatory that you uh, you possess these skills at the starting stage only you possess these skills in the starting stage only if you are going with a two years of experience on power platform application or else as a fresher no one will ask you about these things because on the progress and depending on and every and every project require you to understand and know only power platform how you develop the how do you develop the uh, how you develop the application using the power app studio and the power effects formulas and how to use the data dataverse which i have shown in the beginning dataverse uh, creating databases in tables in dataverse and connecting it to the uh, connecting it to your power app power application then automatic writing the flows how to automate the things and what are those flows also i will say you in the coming in the coming part of the session so this is how the back end of our power platform will run so our uh, so if you your interviewer up to 2 years of uh, knowledge on power platform or else as a beginner he will expect only you to learn power effects formulas and javascript is as it is mentioned in our syllabus as a computer science student or any engineering student at the one one semester or the another we have these three technologies html css javascript so he expect us we have we possess this html css and javascript dot net and c sharp are not part of the syllabus they are the own languages of own language and frameworks of microsoft so they, you will get a you will get a, a concession there uh, i mean relaxation for the dot net and c sharp because every company knows that they are not part of uh, any curriculum because they are not open source one of course c sharp is made open source but still it is not taught in any any curriculum that is the that is the reason uh, you will get some exemption there this is clear till here so we have we have learned how ux will be developed how ux will be developed and how the backend team develops the application this is clear till now yeah, that yeah thank sense. you okay now next next coming to the data team what languages and 
what technologies they use are sql yeah, sql server oracle maybe is sql absolutely correct is sql shapeoint as well yeah so then yeah. oracle yeah. and what's the language you said i think shapeoint as well uh, though it's not rdbms but still it is used yes, as yes. Uh, data uh, this is about a normal application public application okay. when yeah. i come to business application i will i will give that so sql ps sql oracle uh, no database also some new technology yeah, no, SQL. Yeah, no, no sql no sql no sql yeah. also so oracle ps sql sql no sql etc these kind of uh, languages these languages we use for a public application or the, or the big data yeah possibly big data yeah big data big data big data i think it's a set of tool like power app only yeah, yeah. which will have uh, okay we'll discuss about big data in some part of the time because i'll take i'm taking it as i'm considering it is big data also so it is also a set of tools big data uh, but uh, the basic languages which uh, the data team used to develop is that psql psql oracle.net so when it comes to data data is of two types data is of two types one is one is input data what input data input data in this sense if you go to amazon or flipkart there are some uh, products to products in that application that product we treat it as data so whatever the but if you are if you are going to flipkart or amazon and you seen a shirt uh, blue colored shirt of the brand uh, levis let's let's take it as that so that will be treated as a data and it's of the segment input data from the app owner correct that that comes in the input data no coming to the this is the input data from owner data we can read it as the owner data app owner data uh, one more thing is that the user data so give me the example of user data so i have given the example of the owner data so wherever you go to application and whatever you see in that particular application and for your example uh, i am taking it as uh, amazon dot in so this is all data this is all data this is an image view uh, this is the text input uh, text sorry text box and uh, these are the icons which they have used and where else it is asking me to enter the enter the mail id now this the things which i have shown in that particular page are of the owner data no i am inputting my inputting my mail id so which category does the mail id comes user data user data exactly exactly and after this is it going to uh, is it going to restrict uh, restrict us for just giving the email id or else it, it will ask the gender it will ask uh, location it will ask our address okay it will ask uh, as uh, it will ask our uh, payment methods clear payment payment methods and various applications it will ask us to uh, register so whatever the data we are giving and even so coming to that ai part and it, a big data part even whatever the things which we like we like or we view mostly in the in uh, in that particular application ai ai model is behind that and it will store all our searching all our searching and our all over the all the things which we have liked and kept in the cart and it will give uh, it will, whenever we open the app it will give suggestions based on what we are liking and what we are viewing the most which category we are which category are we are browsing more in that particular uh, application and based on that only google google will give us ads now this complete structure is ai model and a big data because it is collecting our data and it, it is giving the suggestions uh, suggestions buying suggestions or mails there's some uh, something you have attached in the cart uh, you, the price 
which you have seen earlier as in, uh, decreased so purchase it today it may increase tomorrow this kind of things we will get in mail or notification this part is then but the data the data science part and lots of tools data analysis data science big data everything is involved uh, this this is done this is done uh, by the this is done based on the input data and the output data this is where our teams our data teams work on this is where our data teams work on even the music player also if you have searched for a telugu song or an english song based on our previous song it will it will keep on auto playing what we what the uh, it will match with our language then with some applications match with our language okay with our beat which we are listening uh, based on the beat also they will uh, they will map map it with the data the our data input data and the user data and the owner data they will map everything and give us suggestions on the on uh, give us suggestions based on that so this is what happens with the complete data team that thing is controlled by data team clear yeah of the of the things are clear okay so, so rajesh basically what... in rajesh so in power apps yes. basically we are dealing with both the application right like public application and the business application no, no, or no. we are basically... business application okay. business application if you have knowledge uh, why i am saying is that just to give you a just to give a similarity that both public public applications and business applications are same only but public applications are can be accessed by anyone whereas the business application can be accessed by only two parties that is the developer party because if we are developing means we can access the business application and the uh, and the client because the developers can access the only developers can access the business applications and the, and the number of employees which the client organization is having suppose if we are uh, we are working with some uh, deloitte we are an employee of deloitte so totally 100 people are involved in developing an app so these 100 people will can access that business application to check and improve the application only we will access we will not access the uh, data complete data user data of that particular uh, uh, client so deloitte had, deloitte had came with a client called uh, what we call uh, we can take example uh, they got the client zara for us so what does zara do uh, it is one of the top uh, clotting application it will sell uh, it will sell a luxury goods uh, moderate luxury goods across 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 the globe so so zara is the client here deloitte deloitte is the developer and that developer will uh, had included as the our uh, as 100 people of his organization in developing the app so that these 100 people and the zara 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 organization people so what does business application include so all the user data thing user data thing so the input data thing in zara's website he their customers can browse taking it as zara here or you take a very known brand called peppy jeans okay these are the, these are the brands uh, because in your future also you will not uh, you will be working with the brand names these like only which are familiar which uh, which are non familiar but yet popular uh, even you can treat it as bmw mercedes these are the clients which we will work only these are the people you, you who use a business uh, application it's not that uh, indian client indian clients also nowadays they are taking the we are working with a company called nephroplus it's an Indian diagnosis brand. They are also trying to use it to use this power, power, uh, power application technology. And one more client we work with is Mercedes-Benz, uh, Harley-Davidson. Uh, these are also renowned uh, motorcycle brands, automobile brands. Uh, they are also using. And even uh, automo Indian automobiles like Tata, Cornerstone, MRF, these kind of brands also you're using this uh, Dynamics 365 and Power Apps technology. It's not the companies that use like the consultants companies like TCS, Infosys, 
uh, we pro these kind of companies will not use they will they will deliver the advantages with us developers to the various clients like the, the things which i mentioned uh, may, uh, yes this this is what the concept so the they Deloitte has got us a got us a client called Zara. Now we are hundred hundred people developers are involved in that. So the we hundred peoples. So if so, there is an uh, separate team for public application which will develop apps on which technology they use to develop a public application. Example, I expect answer from this uh, from everyone. What is mean by a public application? It's the respective owner website link, Android application. Yeah, which is in general not internal in principle. Yes, it is. It is general, not internal. So this will be taken care by the Android developers and Android developers and iOS developers and some some other company. And see this one, business data will be handled by some other company in various. This practice is from various things only because uh, the developers. Who got the access to public and uh, the business data also? If we, if this uh, company gives our Deloitte gives a business data also to the same company, and if the same company can uh, suppose here uh, this is Deloitte for business application, I am taking example. Deloitte. Deloitte is also a reader. Uh, recently, I got nearly. Uh, calls for five vacancies. One of the recruiter called uh, me and asked to view my resume as well as uh, nearly five de uh, five developers who are uh, who are practicing Power Platform from two to three years, and overall experience is five years. So till the vacancies are on with delight. So if you have this, if you have a PF account of five years from any company, it's a genuine PF account. And after the completion of this course, uh, you can contact me. I I can refer you to the uh, you, you to that recruiter. So this is uh, we'll we'll consider they have developed the public application from TCS. So TCS has also having the develop uh, capability to develop public application. But this uh, our client Zara, Zara will not give both applications to to same company because it's the security. If TCS is having TCS is having the data of both both business side and public application, then I'm not saying TCS will sell, but any company which is in losses might sell the data of the business and both public public on because suppose an un, unfortunate situation has come and they are in the they are in the verge of drowning or uh, closing their company. They have only option is that they can sell the data of both business side and public application. And even if they give the architecture of both the both the things to their competitors, Zara, com their competitors, uh, Pepe Jeans, we have Levis, competitors for Zara, Pepe Jeans are uh, Levis, we have Wrangler. So these kind of companies, if they sell off the both business data and uh, public data, they will get more more money than what we are uh, what they are getting in by doing development so this is this is what it goes all the business secrets and their customer secrets will be handed over to their competitors so so in any case even though the quotation of the business application is more or android application is less also tcs quotation given by the deloitte is more than the tcs also they will prefer uh, deloitte only because the business data and the user input that user data which we which they have used to trigger the data science and analysis purpose that, that is more important to develop their own company so in any case no client will prefer uh, same part same company to leverage both public application and business application okay so this is about the data no in our power platform which techno which databases we use this is a question which will be which is triggering in your mind so here is the clarity we are not going to develop sql queries psql queries and start our learning from oracle it's not the case here because we have our own databases uh, 
टाटा वर्क्स शेयर पॉइंट वन ड्राइव ओके दीज आर ऑल दी इन बुल डाटा बेसिस एंड इफ कस्टमर वॉन्ट्स कस्टमर इज ऑलरेडी इन द मार्केट एंड इज यूजिंग सम अदर अदर टेक्नोलॉजी कॉल्ड सेल्स फोर्स sales for or automation anywhere automation anywhere ui path something he have used sales force i think uh, sales force or sap these names you have uh, here in the industry how many of you have heard these names uh, sap sales force yeah i heard that yeah, yes 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 thank you so yeah. these are the, these are also the competitors of microsoft dynamics and microsoft mm -hmm. power application and for your information there are very very less competitors in the market for for low code no code technology and microsoft developed this two tool in a in a very comprehensive way that no competitor will reach this kind of uh, ui this kind of tools and wherever the possibility is there Microsoft is buying, not developing it from scratch, but it is buying its competitor because um, it it already it 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 doesn't have. This is from the starting only. Microsoft what is doing? Whenever they find them, the competitor in the market, they will buy that one because uh, Skype they have purchased it from another one. No, they use the Skype features and additionally they have added some more features and they they reinvented a tool called Teams. no this is the market leader but whereas skype it was a complete failure in the industry so this is what microsoft is uh, doing this is called competitor analysis and microsoft is having so much wealth that it can it can buy any competitor by uh, by throwing that money your example is that chat gpt with, for which it has uh, it uh, it got a share of uh, it it purchased the tool and build uh, added that in its search engine called bing whereas google it didn't it didn't use the chat gpt because it's a direct competitor for G, uh, google so they are they are running with a tool called brad it is not public yet in our india so let's see how the brad will uh, brad will behave with us no chat gpt is good but don't be in a fear that chat gpt will remove our uh, jobs it is for scarcity for content writers some uh, tech support people uh, very basic tech support people these kind of people are in uh, in danger but whereas developers it's it's like a friend for us chat gpt is so no need to worry about that and how to use the chat gpt also for power a power platform the also we will we will have a session over that one so these kind of tools uh, see a data our sharepoint one drive we have we have we have inbuilt but whereas say if the uh, the client is having salesforce app and uh, automation in our ui for this kind of tools is running with and you want to migrate that one then we then comes external connectors dataverse is a database and we can treat it as an internal connector sharepoint is also a database and web website builder for organization in and in addition we can also treat it as a connector one drive where we store it's like our uh, this is what one drive so it is it is not it is similar to it is similar to our uh, file folder so where we store our uh, files uh, files in the same way company data we will show in one drive who are using this microsoft uh, who are microsoft partners and who are using this microsoft uh, environment uh, they will be given one drive and even in the latest windows also after windows 8 we you can you can see one drive isn't it who are using windows is one drive one drive visible in your windows it will be asking us to sync sync the local data with this correct any ss so that that is that is similar to this one drive is also similar to that one so we will practice uh, we'll practice on data bar sharepoint one drive so salesforce and sap since we don't have any client access uh, we will be not using but in case if you get that a particular task in your company i am here to i am here to help you so i am not going anywhere
i will guide you how to connect those things and how to get that one even your architects and your seniors will also help you in that case even if you are not able to fulfill the task you can come to me at any time any point of time this is what this is what happens with the database of our business application any doubts still here any doubts still here no, it's going very well. Uh, uh, just a small thing to uh, check with you based on your experience and understanding. We did talk about yes, Onyx and uh, Sports and uh, SAP, right? As that a, things a we have a QA and a Q and session okay, at the, okay, at the sorry. last. I will clear. And even if you are not sure, satisfied right. with that, uh, you can contact me directly. Sure. Thanks a lot, Rajesh. So this is not this is not ended yet. There is lot more lot more to deliver till the end of the session. So everyone, is it going good or any any blockers you are getting in understanding this one? Anyone? Uh, if you are no, you can you can type no. I will contact you personally after the session. Any no's? You can also use that instead of two. Uh, you can say organizer only, or you can select my name and send me the message. So no knows. I feel we are good to progress into our next uh, next thing. So this is what. And for this, no notes is required, I guess. So all this, if you go through the curriculum, course curriculum, this part it will be not there. Uh, what uh, what technologies we will use in building public application, but what technologies we are using in detail once go through the course detailed course curriculum. Uh, if you haven't got that course curriculum, get it from the organizers or you can ping me. I'll give you, give you the link to download the uh, latest curriculum which we which I have designed, keeping keeping the pain points of past, perfect, present and the things which are going to be coming in future. Because Microsoft Fabric is the tool which is going to dominate Azure and which are going to reduce the pain points of database developers, this one database team uh, microsoft came with a tool called microsoft fabric still it is in the preview stage only it is not given to it only developers can uh, developers can do some uh, uh, do some things in that microsoft fabric uh, so it's in, it's still in the preview lots of uh, lots of time is to learn, uh, lots of time we have to learn that but in the end we have also added that that thing also because it's going to it's going to make you as a data data scientist data engineer whatever you call whatever data analyst whatever you treat everything is configured in the tool called microsoft fabric that is also as we will be giving you as an add-on in this end of the course along with that we will be doing some uh, some a couple of applications on on rpa which I have said RPA, we will be, uh, it's nothing but we will be RPA, you will do, we will do Windows automation, Windows automation, uh, UI automation, and don't ask me what is Windows automation and UI automation. When the topic comes, I will, I will explain you. Automation. Uh, legacy application automation these things uh, these things these things we can do with rpa okay so this is the difference between this is a difference between uh, a public application and business application i hope the things are clear and i am clearing the canvas no need to take the notes of this one it's not uh, necessary these are just the basics and a glimpse of what you are going to learn in this course yeah i'm resetting the canvas so so rajesh uh, can i say like that basically through through power app basically we can develop only business application right business so we are not basically for business huh? application for uh see i'll clear your doubt right only right now uh, you you have an admin uh, Sedna so business application is highly confidential and secure 
so that particular link will be configured in a in a public uh, it will be made to private uh, public links and private links you have gone into basic classes uh, of your uh, uh, your college days uh, public link and private link what is the difference between public link in public link uh, private link in the sense it will be it will be restricted to some parties only like as i said they organize uh, the client parties and uh, and the developer parties these two parties can only uh, access and the employees all the employees of that organization clear only these people can uh, these people can uh, these people can organize uh, organization people organization people and the developers and the developers this is all about the business application that particular link which we are developing that that particular link which we are developing but that link also we can make we can make public but it is okay. not done because based on the based on the sharepoint sharepoint we we never come across a uh, come, a, come across an application called sharepoint when we got when we uh, low, when we browse websites when we browse websites now this is based uh, this is uh, made using the tools called html css javascript and various other angular also they use javascript also they use java also they use they use mostly it's an old old one no so they use java only in that one uh, in that one so that it can handle data so what are the limitations uh, business applications it's not it's not a fancy application it's mainly uh, it's mainly for security and data handling and data analysis of that organization and its particular clients so the uh, it will have some limitation business application will have some limitations based keeping in the mind of safety and security whereas whereas because if i make this business business application private no private what 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 it will happen any hacker can intrude into that link and he will he will get that uh, he will get the endpoints and completely take our uh, take our uh, take the data of the organization and its clients and he may sell it clear correct correct yeah so keeping hackers in view so the first primary thing primary thing what uh, a, what a company a client is uh, thinking of it is in the first phase only he have given the development of the applica public application to another company and the business application to another company keeping in that even even my developers should also even the company which i am associated with developing also should not access my data single single phone number also he will be even in development also he will not give his complete client data he will give dummy data only for us clear to develop and if even if if he want to test it with the test it with its own own data own database there will be developers from that company see here client will also have the developers because i am having uh, if you are having 5 years of experience and the client side developer will have more experience than you a 6 year or 7 year experience you will be interacting with daily so that uh, so that he will uh, what we call ask the changes and and check uh, check check whether we are doing it as per the standards and as per the requirement this is uh, this is what that company will also have companies also our clients are also intelligent these days they will also have developers now whatever you do they won't agree whatever they want only they will take and that too with highest safety standards because once the data of the customers is leaked in the in the market the company's name and brand all collapsed and we have seen it with many companies example is paytm only of course amazon's database is leaked uh, mintra's database is leaked even i have that uh, when i when i when i was into ui development and website development i all purchased it with the least cost of cost of 2000 3000 only i purchased uh, i purchased the database of mintra where i have all all the users it is you you are even your number is also there in that uh, particular uh, data which i have purchased and in the later part of the courses i will also show you these things are happens but the, because still customers trust them they won't uh, they are still using the application but whereas with the business applications and the companies like ey and uh, deloitte no 
if something goes wrong no one will take the take them into consideration no brand will take them into con consideration because uh, consult because they are developing undervalued applications the application which they have developed are leaking they are they are not as per standard this thing they will keep and they will not get contracts so this is why business development and uh, public development are different public application development are different okay hope i got your uh, i cleared your doubt yeah yeah got got it rajesh yeah thanks yeah and previously also we used we used developed technologies like dotnet and c sharp to develop business application using the tools like crm fndo sales up and what i are i'm going to discuss it now so what is dynamics 365 and what are fndo what is sales up what is business central these things i'm, I'm going to explain you in this particular thing so if someone ask you what is power up power platform so what is the answer you are going to say anyone so what do you have learned from that uh, learned from the previous thing uh, so let us ask the question again please ha huh. if someone ask you what is power platform so what you are going to what you are going to answer so i even, think uh, i would say that i mean it's, it's a no code local platform for by microsoft which is a suite of uh, number of different tools which are catered to uh, build apps create visualization um, i mean create bots so it's an end to end uh, suite which can give you all the things which you need for creating business applications correct correct so this is a basic answer which you are going to give and any other answers from any one because everyone's view, view point is different so that's why i expect different answer even the interviewer also will they expect a different answer from various uh, uh, candidates whom he is going to uh, interview so any any other answers okay any other answers after this explanation you will get no power platform is having these tools but from this one this one was introduced in 2000 16 by microsoft microsoft introduced this power platform in 2016 2016 they have introduced this platform so before 2016 no code lo local platform is not uh, available and even with this kind of uh, with this all these things also it's not available just they introduced to the market with just canvas to design ui power app studio they have introduced in 2016 power app studio they have introduced just to design ui part only like forms see your forms uh forms login pages login pages uh like some uh employee applications to give give apply leave applications like basically like uh, apply leave only lms is a system where we apply leaves in the company but at that time we 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 are able to use, develop only leave application pages only it's like uh, not giving uh, not applying through mail uh, they have so, so for this kind of applications they have made and if they want to submit a ticket also submit ticket also ticketing tool ticketing tool yes yes ticketing ticketing can... tools yeah yeah yes submit ticket also correct correct what you said is ticketing tools various ticketing tools are there i will discuss what are the what are the various ticketing tools in uh, microsoft dynamics 365 i'll discuss so in 2016 uh, microsoft introduced power app studio to develop just single page applications and very very small applications but it's nearly 2016 it was in previous stage 2017 it was still in reviewing developers are reviewing they released another pro they released a, a correct power platform tool in 2018 19 no this is the year 2023 august from 2019 uh, august to 2023 also how many years calculate 4 years close to 4 years exactly 4 years in this 4 years what the pain points 
they are faced from various clients and what the additional things one developer wants to to easy the process of development to easy the process of development they have taken all these things into consider and finally given the product which is existing with us which we will uh, which we will see if time if time permits and you have the patience we will see the real tool real tool uh, the real platform for platform in the uh, in the coming session or else in the next week in the next week so in this four years they have made this application look like a dolly for us no no and and if you type in the internet also citizen Um, just to type the layman's words now what i got citizen development application citizen developer use microsoft power app citizens developers use microsoft power apps to build so they have only named named these applications they named this application as citizen uh, citizen developer application see uh, most of the people have lost lost their jobs in us uk or another countries even in india also because uh, coders are acquiring the coders coders in the sense who have knowledge of uh, who have knowledge of uh, computer science and who know this the technologies which you have discussed like dotnet java and this so it is difficult for the citizen because you have uh, suppose you have worked in marketing or else you have uh, you have done you have worked for 5 years in customer support or else you have done uh, you have you have you are in the sales no these jobs are uh, in gradually decreasing so where where uh, so and the company have removed these kind of non coding thing non coding people who are do are doing some technical jobs even even excel form filling also still one of my uh, one of my friend is doing in tcs his thing is to maintain the excel sheets uh, and uh, to do some ad uh, additional coding in the excel like for formulas which uh, formulas are the most important things uh, in excel in power bi i will say you uh, what what kind of things uh, you can explore using the excel sheet uh, don't read is just an excel sheet uh, there are a lot of functions in the excel sheet and someone are uh, messaging oh it's our organization i thought someone of you have messaged me so the thing is that uh, here we are where we are stopped so what's the point we are discussing sorry to ask you all so basically you are discussing about that excel formulas right so yes yes oh, yeah so the they excel formula one of my uh, one of my friend is uh, still working in tcs uh, in gujarat location his his duty is to maintain the excel sheets of something uh, which we don't know i have also not asked him excel developer role is also there so sto slowly coders what we have what i had what they have done in this uh, uh, evolution of the internet uh, internet and the uh, software era is that some small companies are started removing this kind of this kind of people this kind of people so they came with a perfect solution that everyone who are in the who are in some other uh, some other zone of uh, business zone of job also should be ready to develop so this is the thing this is the thing uh, this is the thing they have come with and they masterminded and made this tool now using power platform any person who know english any person who know english and willing to learn these tools without any coding knowledge can do the do do uh, for no it is business uh, business application development only but we have gotten news that soon the microsoft microsoft power platform will be able to uh, be able to develop applications for uh, public but why it is that microsoft is believed by industries even the amazon is also using outlook because of its safety for its business needs outlook 
we mail to amazon using its ma amazon's main tool only main mail only it's, it's it's built on aws it is their own email id only but whereas for internal business application um, again the same thing this uh, if this uh, if, if the employees also use the same uh, same gmail uh, mail which we are using uh, which amazon is using then it comes the security will comes into uh, security priority security is a priority for major companies that's the reason still amazon also if any of your friend is uh, working in amazon also for the internal purpose which mail id is using uh, which mail he is using he will be using outlook only so this is the reason why microsoft is uh, power platform is uh, microsoft is not making this tool uh, tool as a public development tool also but soon we may hear that news maybe they might come with other tool like previously there were there were uh, phones in the market based on microsoft uh, microsoft os only how many of you know this anyone uh, apart from android and uh, ios also we are uh, we have uh, there there were uh, phones of the microsoft also in the market uh, mostly nokia yeah, nokia Lum came Lumia with this microsoft phones, yeah. os yes microsoft yeah, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yes thank you so rajesh, but that was, uh, that was that was a failure to share, rajesh. Rajesh, I have Sorry? Something to share. I, I need to drop uh, yeah. off apologies for this, but I'm really liking this session. Uh, of Thank course, you. I can Thank easily you. connect and uh, if you need to an extension for this, uh, I'll certainly be joining in. Sure, uh, but you can join it. Uh, we have, we'll we still have a 30 minutes of class left. Uh, here, we, I'll yeah, give you I, I that, but, uh, just got some personal thing, which is why I don't want to disturb sure. others. I just wanted to share sure. that before I leave. Yeah. Sure, sure. Thank you. Thank Apologies. you for attending. Thank and we will, uh, Thanks a lot for your... we will share this demo also to you. Uh, you can contact yeah, yeah, the sure. you can contact the organizer. Sure, I'll do. Thank you very much, Rajesh. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you. So that that was a failure because uh, they cannot handle a company which is developing the tools for businesses and uh, both the pub, uh, public also they cannot handle those two things because that their data input is different and this data input is different the the customer behavior in business application and customer behavior in public applications are both entirely different based on that that microsoft phones were a failure and then they started improving their business tools only that's why only right now they are not making the arrangements some arrangements only if they make in this power platform we can also develop applications for android and android and ios but of course we will have several limitations guidelines because the guidelines for android ios and power applications is different but microsoft have that capacity capability to match that uh, match that guidelines but they are not going to do it soon but soon we may hear the news and microsoft is having this cross-platform tool called xamarin i don't know how many of you have heard that tool name xamarin Xamarin. Have you heard about Flutter? Anyone? Flutter, React, React. So Xamarin is a uh, Microsoft own tool where we can develop tools. It's a cross platform tool where we can develop applications for uh, Android and iOS as well. Android and iOS both we can develop uh, it's the same with flutter but the owner is different whereas for uh, whereas for uh, for Xamarin it's in Microsoft this tool is still in the existence but Microsoft is not uh, taking much care of that because it's concerned about its business uh, business clients clear so Xamarin uh, cross-platform tools these are cross-platform so cross platform in the sense one application you develop and it will be used on both the platforms it is android and ios but certainly it will have limitations clear and uh, and the flutter who is the owner of flutter uh, it's the two it's the tool which we use every time so whatever you want where you go in your mobile or uh, in your mobile or 
laptop what tool you open it's google it's google clear so the owner of flutter is google and who is the owner of react who is the owner of react flutter is an open source tool react is an open open source tool but jammer is not an open source tool because its owner is microsoft and whereas react it is facebook so these two also we use regularly facebook in the sense it may be your your whatsapp we can rename it as meta or facebook facebook clear so using this react platform we have uh, react platform also we can uh, develop cross platform applications for android ios and windows so whereas using the power platform we will develop cross platform application cross platform business application for both android ios and windows so once a develop uh, once a business application we develop in power apps it will be used in or it can be opened in all the three the three three devices who are who are having the authority to open that is the only difference so it is nothing less than a uh, less than an app development tool and apart from app development fun for android and ios if you have developed an application and if you want to go to automate automate the things automate the stuff you need a lot of coding behind backend and even for databases also they are using that uh, due to using sql oracle uh, uh, fire fire database firebase etc these kind of things uh, we will be using for android and ios whereas we have our inbuilt database in our microsoft uh, power, power platform it is dataverse dataverse is most preferred database for uh, power uh, power app development so this is one more difference you need to catch and whatever i am saying no are the you may get any question from your interviewer if you are going with with a one year or zero year experience these only the basic questions you will get from power application uh, power platform so what they expect from a zero experienced person and one year experienced person is that he is he preparing in a correct way does he know exactly what these tools will perform and uh, what kind of stuff he is going to develop he they doesn't care about how much uh, how much depth knowledge you have never never no company checks your depth language because they also knew that based on the client the needs will develop the tool will be changed but uh, what that tool does today it's power microsoft power platform but after after 10 years there may be some more tool even joho is also making a power platform uh, a tool like power platform but in order to need reach microsoft power platform it will take nearly 5 to 10 years for joho because uh, Microsoft, some things it purchased from other companies and internally they developed and produced as this Microsoft Power. Even Power BI is also not part of, uh, my, not owned by uh, owned by Microsoft in 2006 or 2010. They have purchased it in 2006 something exact year I don't know, but they have purchased it from other company. So the own tools of Microsoft Power Platform, own internal uh, developer tools are like Power Apps, Power Automate, and Dataverse these three tools are uh, these two these four to three tools are microsoft owns power bi they are purchased from others uh, and power virtual agents also we can say it's their own only that that's the thing that's the thing because no one can reach this platform and one more example also i am showing now how these two uh, how this uh, kind of low code is going to change the complete era of application development can you see my see this screen yeah rajesh we can see go ahead yeah uh, this company called gartner uh, i think this text is very So everyone try to read this, try to read this, which I have highlighted. 
so gartner is a company which will have an uh, which will have an eagle eye on every company's practices whether they are go doing good practices whether they are doing mal practices in acquiring clients or uh, getting data of the customers gartner is like a it's like a bbc for our microsoft of com uh, our technology companies so what this gartner will do is that it will uh, it will check each and every tool popular tool or the latest development of each and every tool if you go to gartner website you could see only all technology news so that is the specialty of the company so what gartner is saying is saying is that by 2025 70% of the new application developed by enterprises 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 in the sense business applications enterprises in the sense organization application clear enterprise is nothing but a company internal use will use low code or no code technologies up from less than 20 25% in 2020 in 2020 as i said the new uh, the code was introduced in preview in 2016 so we will have less developer for it but by 2020 only 25% companies are using this a low code no code platform whereas and by the end of the 2025 by the end of the 2025 how much percentage it is giving 70 percent 70 percent in the sense in the sense now we'll come to our main product in the sense so how many of you have an idea of uh, microsoft dynamics 365 environment Microsoft Dynamics 365. Anyone? Tejashvi. Yes, I do. Uh, oh, that's great. Uh, your name? Who? Baskar? Dinesh. Dinesh. Ah, Dinesh. yes, Dinesh. Dinesh. Yeah. Yeah, we just so, implemented the Microsoft D365 ERP. ERP. Okay. Yes. ERP. FNO we have implemented and FN and, uh, retail. So Microsoft yeah, retail MDC. commerce commerce Microsoft commerce we have implemented. D three sixty five. Microsoft D sixty five MD sixty five is the uh, shortcut for Microsoft Dynamics three sixty five. So Microsoft is a set of in Power Platform how we have these tools uh, Power Apps Power Automate. Uh, model driven application model driven application in the sense it is our database which you have sent uh, said you using data database database you will develop model driven application and what are those in the progress of our training sessions we will learn but no coming to microsoft d365 microsoft d365 is a set of tools how power platform has its own set of tools microsoft d65 is also having its own set of tools with the name CRM C CRM C Sales Hub Sales Hub F and O okay crmc business central bc we call it as bc sales up business central so these things i have explored so i have knowledge of these things now dinesh have come up with uh, one more Part of the tool it is ERP correct uh, that's the full name uh, that can have Oracle SAP can be anything yes even Microsoft yes. Commerce is also part of D365 now that yes, is absolutely. Yes. so it's ERP let's take it as ERP okay so I'll start with FNO because I'm familiar with the FNO Later it is sales hub and later it is CRM. For F and O, I am taking the example as MRF. So MRF is our centerpiece here. It's an Indian manufacturer company with the name Madras Rubber Factory. And it's a leader. If you have tried 
Fiat tires, MRF tires, or corner stone, bridge stone, whatever the whatever the tires you you have tried, MRF is very rough and tough. In with my own experience, I am I am uh, I am saying you. No, no other tire quality can withstand in front of MRF. So with my personal experience, I'm saying whether it is for bikes or whether it is for uh, cars. So I'm taking it as an example. So MRF is having uh, having a manufacturing unit, manufacturing unit in the sense where they produce, uh, where they produce Where they produce their tires okay in order to uh, manufacture a tire uh, what are the ingredients we required ingredients we require anyone this is a basic uh, physics question as even a 10th class student or a 6th class student can also answer it's a basic physics right it's not a technical thing in order to manufacture uh, in order to manufacture and why am why i am saying this thing basic things also i can also close the class there because power platform is a thing but when you go for the end when you go for an interview or when you go on to a new project you will be developing the application based on these kind of requirement only i cannot give you uh 10 to hundreds of companies example but for your uh, understanding i'm giving i'm taking this uh manufacturing a manufacturing thing as uh, an example so in order to in order to manufacture uh, in order to manufacture in order to manufacture tires what is the what is the what is the main ingredient it is rubber rubber And one more thing, what you see, it's tread, it's tread and it's butamine, it's butamine. Okay, we have sourced our raw material. No, MRF manufactures 10,000 tires in a week, suppose example, in, in, a, in a week. But it cannot store all the 10, uh, it cannot store the raw material raw material it imported from kerala it's mrf is suppose it's having a, uni, a manufacturing unit in chennai we consider but in order in order to make 10000 tires for that particular week or month it needs to uh, it need to source its raw material from various uh, various resources it may be some various uh, where they get cheap and high quality high quality rubber they will produce uh, they will source it from there and after sourcing that where where they will keep him keep them in the uh, uh, in the go downs in the go downs in the go downs they will be they will get okay so they have sourced this one they have sourced this one and i am talking about i am this example is for f and o clear finance and operations finance and operations for, for those who are new to microsoft dynamics uh, 365 Uh, F and O stands for F and O stands for uh, finance and operations. Finance and operations. Now we are looking at the operations part of what happens in in general. So. In general, what happens? We are uh, we are talking about this one. Okay. In finance operations, we are we are dealing with this operations part. So it sources rubber, thread, butamin, and they stores in go down. No, today, today I am the manager. Suppose I am given the duty to manufacture thousand tires for the for the day using ten workers. I am the manager, uh, production manager, production manager. And I have given a duty by the company because by company because I am working with the MRF, so I got a duty to manufacture thousand uh, thousand uh, tires per the day with the help of hundred workers. Now what I will do? I will get the required. So our go down is filled with so much of uh, raw material. Now I will calculate it on my tool. I will calculate it on my tool F and O. 
so i will keep i will enter the details in the fendo tool saying that today i got an order we received an order of a thousand tires so i need to manufacture them uh, send me this many kilos of rubber this many uh, meters of tread this much amount of butamine from the go down one from the go down only one go down does it does that big company will have it is it is not in our reach how many go downs will it have those company people only will know so from go down one we have rubber so send me send me this amount of thousand k uh, thousand uh, tires i want to manufacture send me this many 200 kg of rubber from go down one send me this many uh, 10000 meters of tread from go down two and a 10 kilo of butamine from go down three no if i put everything in on paper or else on in mind and i will explain to my superior he will that superior will be having so many meetings with various clients various vendors uh, various partners now if i say it orally orally saying that for manufacturing two tires two tires i used a 2 kg of uh, rubber uh, uh, 3 meter uh, 3 k 3 kilometers of uh, thread and some 100 grams of vitamin it if i say to uh, it, if i say it to someone uh, my colleague okay i will understand and uh, in order to manufacture two tires this much this much amount is required but whereas 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 your superior of that company who will be having so many meetings and not only that superior but even to the finance team so company is not only whether it is uh, manufacturing and selling it to the customers this thing only it will this thing only it will not check this one only it will not check clear this will only it will not check every single rupee they are investing on their raw materials their employees their transport and and the bonuses which they are giving for employees employees welfare they will calculate employees salaries they will calculate and the rents of that go down the rents of the manufacturing unit if they have the no company because um, mrf suppose it's having manufacturing in uh, hero is having manufacturing units in uh, africa new zealand europe so everywhere they cannot buy they invest and buy their own uh, own land for own land for in order to construct or make them make this uh, make make their uh, make their vehicles or tires they will be on rent only they they will take it only rent only so that rent will also they will be ca calculated and you know they will all integrate that particular thing in f and o this is from the manufacturer's point no no they will be after after manufacturing if they keep them in the again they keep if they keep them in the go down will it work for them no they need to sell they need to sell they need to sell they, then only they will uh, they will get the profit if they manufacture and keep it keep it in, uh, keep them as a dead stock uh, no company will run because ba based on the based on the demand only they will uh, manufacture them if they got if they got a uh, order of 10000 10, tires they may manufacture 10500 only but they won't manufacture 20000 and keep 10000 in stock it is uh, it is a varasht business practice because today we have an order, tomorrow we don't have an order. And a final product occupies more space. So they need to they, they need to purchase a new go down also. They need to get they need to take a new a new go down into an end also. So these points, what I am saying, will be considered by the architecture point of view. So whenever anyone anyone comes into uh, comes into a F and O requirement, these things are will all the things will be discussed with our architect by the business owner. Business owner here in the sense MRF will discuss with our company's architect and they will give a solution for them. Like sir, this is the best solution we have. This is the best solution we have. It's F and O. Take this product. It will be useful so that you can uh, you can uh, document all your. Uh, all your uh, ingredients final products and your customer details how much you are selling not complete customer details it will hold it will have capacity to hold how much they have delivered to the clients only not customers see your manufacturer will have 
सम ए रीसेलर और सम ए रीसेलर होलसेल रीसेलर सम बी एंटरप्राइज एंटरप्राइज सम सी सी इंस्टीट्यूट दे हैव दे हैव सोल्ड इट टू डिजॉल थिंग्स ओनली देयर होलसेल बिजनेस पार्ट विल बी रिकॉर्डेड इन द एफ एंड ओ any doubt still here what you mean by fndo and why i am saying fndo because tomorrow power apps will replace fndo why in the progress uh, progress of the sessions i will say since uh, microsoft is business take getting business from power apps and uh, microsoft is getting business from fndo there are still existing products uh, tons of existing products in the market that's why only still micro fndo is there and it will it will run till 5 to 6 years but but soon fndo will also come in may go into legacy i am not sure of course they may improve the fndo things and they may, they may make it run but all the capabilities what fndo is having we can design them using our power automate that is the advantage okay this is about fndo any doubt still here so if you ask these things also you need to keep in at some point of time these things you will keep in your resume in order to get calls and your resume resume preparation time i will say you depending on the vacancies of the company which you are applying for and your latest practice from past 2 years you will keep power apps only but they will basically ask what is mean by fndo finance and operation and what will happen in the tool what i have said that complete cycle will happen in the tool So anyone feeling bored or not understanding? So this is this is basically how happens with F and O. And coming to the sales up, uh, it's like when you are calling any company company for the particular product requirement, they will take all your data into a tool called sales up. so like if you are if you are asking for a credit card credit card or something or a bank inquiry what they will do is they will uh, they will go to this uh, they will use this call sales up to register them and complete to come coming to crm okay i think uh, we have taken a lot of time a lot of time of you anyone feeling bored should i continue or can we transfer this to a next class everyone i think rajiv we will discuss on the next class or yeah, okay. that is what i felt already i, I could see the number of, number of listeners have felt maybe they are tired or having some thing because maybe i'm i'm feeling that i am uh, keeping a mountain on you if i continue this one so everyone who attended did you understand what is power platform of a glimpse so why i am saying about uh, d365 is it is the by product power plat power platform is bo born from the pain points of d365 only and in future maybe in 5 years or 10 years it is going to replace complete dynamic 365 environment this is for sure this is for sure so all the things which can be done by the power platform we can use that again why why uh, why a company will purchase fndo and crm also everything we can develop using a power platform no that is the reason we need to know that one and the openings also have also have started up to 50% the openings are able to you, you are able to find in uh, now three indeed and all uh, job sites and from november more and more vacancies you will get so this is for sure and next thing we will continue in the next class we are already past the time May, uh, and we will also have a brief view of the our power platform tool also so clear till here and coming about me A small reintroduction about me once again. Uh, 
I just one question. So, what is the duration of this course? Duration, ah, uh, two and a half months. Okay. Two and a half months, and it is also less only if you uh, practice daily things, no. Daily daily task on daily basis that that will take two and off and you should in order to gain two years of experience you should additionally practice two months. So what expect what I expect from you is the more you practice, the more uh, the more you can uh, the more nearer the course will be. So coming about me, could you see my screen? Uh, the new one, the white window. Yeah, yeah, we can see. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. So I am into power pra power platform practice. From past two and a half years, so I work on a .NET C Sharp Java. No, I have reduced recently from from two years. Also, I am not working from uh, working on .NET J C Sharp Java. Right now, I am working on JavaScript CRM functional. And what is that CRM? I will say I will say you all in the next class. And before coming here, I was an mobile application and UI developer. UI developer for, for Android, Android, iOS. And where I used the language called Swift, and for Android I practiced Flutter, but I didn't develop much on that one. Morely I focused on iOS because companies don't give you chance to develop function on multiple things because it reduces their uh, function. It reduces their uh, productivity. So and after that I was into website and UI developer, where I used HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Node.js, and Bootstrap. And I am the Joint Secretary for Varangal District. Varangal is uh, the next city to Hyderabad. So Telangana Information Technology. I am the Joint Secretary for for it right now. And I actually work on content writing, technical and timeline niche. Timeline niche. And if you go to my uh, LinkedIn, you can find out what is meant by timeline uh, content writing. And as you know, I am teaching. I was into teaching before this course also. I used to teach iOS. In the other institute, not uh, Visual Path, and I'm a fit fitness enthusiast, so I'm a cult fit member, and I was into also marketing and this website development. I have a own freelance team, where we were able, where we were able to source nearly 30 to 40 clients in in the span of two and a half years, and our major clients also. I mean, you are also vexed. To design more than uh, major clients, also I will show you. Not the big companies, rather for the local clients. So I practice guitar, and I am much into music of all languages. If you, even if you are not from Telangana or Telugu, it's fine. Uh, we can connect there. And this is my social media connects, which I will also add in the comments box. If you want to connect, if you like my thing uh, you can also connect with me how have you felt about this class was was this information will i give you more information or less, less information so you can also connect with me with my social media handles and uh, any questions you have you can ask me That's it for today. Any certification questions also if you have, you can ask me in the next class. So we are ready. We are good to leave, I guess. And we are closing the class. Any questions you have from your side? Anyone? Manjunath, Sadiq, Maha, Baskar, AG, Sirisha. Any doubts till now, or we are good to give, good to you. Yes, we provide we provide material. No need to worry. Not material. See here, the 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 thing once you once you enroll into your course, Sadiq, the thing will be in this way. Daily, I will give you some tasks. I thought of giving you some tasks also, but but today. Uh, some people have left so I'm not giving it a task but if on Monday I will give you a task daily I will give you a task okay 
which you need to submit me along with the documentation and the output and everything is documented and you will be given a uh, d365 D3, D3, license uh, trial trial version where each and you will be added as a member in that one and a may and one more trial version also will be created to you because you cannot practice it in open open way you need some techniques uh, and you need some uh, licenses to use this power apps that thing also i will clear in the upcoming session once you enroll you will be given uh, the trial environment where we will be where you will be able to practice this power power platform and also you can also explore that's uh, whatever the tools i am saying sales or say sales hub crm ce business central etc and where you will also be assigned a task there only and i can even organizers organizers can see the task which is assigned to you and myself also can see you it's like for the complete course i will be uh, looking to you and once you complete you are satisfied with it the, you are satisfied with the task you satisfy me and the organization with the task given you given by us then only we will be giving you the course completion certificate don't feel that you are getting this all you are just joined this course to pass your uh, pass your i may help you pass pl 900 certification which is required also but we will not give you the course completed course completion certificate if your performance is not satisfactory in the course of course if you are if you are doing job if you have some examination you can postpone the tasks given by us to one month also then you will get the certification once you submit 80 to 90 percent of the tasks which we are giving then only we will consider it as course completion not that i have whatever i know i have said in this two and a half months or two months and left you like that but what i want my students to do is they want they want i want you all to do more work than what i am doing in the sense the learnings what you are doing so whenever you go for, go for an interview i want i want i want you all to i want you all to excel more than me because when when i attend interviews when i attend interviews i may get i may i may get the, some different questions and you may get some different questions so you want to i want you all to answer those questions and crack most of the jobs which you are attending this is the more agenda most agenda of my training session and i have also given your course curriculum so when you come to the next class be thorough with that course course curriculum and any doubts you have of course i will i will explain that complete course curriculum but thoroughly go to the go to that so we are leaving thank you all